Hey everybody, welcome back to D-Zoned. So we're going to have a normal one today after the, uh, well, kind of long-ish episodes from last week. But uh, yeah, I should have something that's going to be a bit of a doozy come... A, what? A what? A doozy. A bit of a doozy on Thursday. We'll see. Hopefully I can get that together in time, but uh, things have been kind of calming down a little bit, so it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, wadnate me. Argus.wad. It's a map one replacement, and it actually seems to be just an original map and um, not a conversion. So let's go ahead and take a look at the text file. Doom 2 Argus episode. Oh, no shit. By Ty Halderman and uh, Robert Taylor. Okay. So uh, my expectations have climbed a uh, wee bit. So miscellaneous author info. Two guys with patience and obsession. Oh, well, sounds good to me. Many testing hours and modem and single user play. Yeah, it was testing. That's what it was. Description. This is the first of a series of levels, some of which are completely revamped levels first, released as sacrifice levels 1 through 6 for Doom 1. Kind of went a little overboard there with the reading, but that's okay. These levels offer sophistication and puzzle solving rather than just turning up the volume. Children, you know who you are, may be bored. De definite consideration was given to consistency, theme, and fairness. However, you should remember that these are levels for Doom 2, and that presupposes that you are an experienced player. Additional credits to Do 5.0, 5.1, 5.2 GCC, 5.21, BSP, 1.1, 1.2X, Do 2, 5.1 hacked sorry but the official one isn't here yet and there are many contributors the masses of CompuServe gamers who have unwittingly helped by allowing their problems and ideas to further our productivity the wad makers of the world for sharing their ideas and examples with us the folks at id for making a creative such a creative endeavor possible all those who have made other tools and nifties that um, make things a lot easier Episode and level, map one, single player, co-op, deathmatch, difficulty. Yes, 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 every difficulty level different. New sounds, graphics, music, no, not yet, no. It use it muse, blah, blah, to use music from episode, blah, blah. Demos replaced, none. Map one description, Argus. Argus refers to the Greek mythological creature referred by... Er, used by Hera to watch over Io. You'll see what we mean. Several separate puzzles. Be careful not to get over-anxious. Brains are better than brawn. Like hell. Visual clues are important. Oh, I'm screwed. So, um, yeah, funny thing about that is I had, uh, actually had Argus as the name of a server fairly, up until fa fairly recently. Yeah, that one ended up getting retired when I migrated to a new server. But, uh, or I should say it was the name of one of my VMs. But, yeah. That's neither here nor there. Construction. Base. Originally a new Doom 1 level from scratch. Vastly redone and added to with new Doom 2 textures, monsters, and features. Was part of the Sacrifice WAD series. Editors used, we know. Known bugs and limitations. None that we caused, we hope. It's a good way of putting it, with how uh, node builders were at the time, especially. Oh, wow, we've got a lot here. Okay. This is going to be a long text file read. Philosophy. Appearance and design. A lot of effort was putting put into making things look good. After your killing spree is over, take, a, take the time to look around. Several levels have some vantage points with grand vistas, or at least as grand as the Doom engine would allow. If you want to see how fast you can get done, fine. Then go back with a no monster switch and just look. Not everything has a purpose. Some things are just there for us, for artistic or architectural interest. We think this is one of the things that made the original Doom levels so good. Traps. All levels were intentionally made so you should not get trapped or irreversibly, though you may die learning how to get out. Please let us know if you end up stuck in a place you wouldn't think you'd fit. We tried to be real careful about this. Secret areas. You should not have to get into all secret areas to complete a level. Keys or switches to open main path doors or areas should not be located in secret areas. 
Thank you. <laughs> All secret doors should be slightly different or highlighted in a way that a casual stroll through the area, as opposed to a 70 mile per hour screaming streak, should allow you to find them. You should not have to resort to pushing everything in sight. However, if you miss Wolfenstein, go on and push. Secret doors will not show up on the map. Sorry, but if we allowed that, we wouldn't need to make them subtly different, and that wouldn't be as much fun for either of us. Sometimes you'll get a computer area map, and that will usually show the areas, but we'll hide that map in a secret area. So you'll still have to use the little gray cells. <laughs> See that? Copy and paste that. That's basically my secret area methodology. <laughs> or philosophy. Both. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Monsters. We prefer a few sneaky ones to a room that will make you prefer a date with Godzilla. <laughs> this also means that once you learn our levels, they become easier to play. Don't like that? Go Nightmare. That'll teach you. Levels were all built for Ultra Violence, Skill 4. Then some of the bad slash good things were changed for the good levels. Or for, <laughs> for the lower levels, 2 and 3. Level 1 is the same as 2, except the goop doesn't hurt as bad. Some areas are differently populated, different critters, and some are less densely populated with the same critters. Whatever seemed appropriate. Sometimes easier levels just get more health and ammo, or guns are more readily available. Since the original design was for UV, you'll probably get the best total feel for what we built if you play at that level. Of course, you have to live that long. Okay. Copyright and permissions may not use this level as a base to build additional levels. Let us do that. Ideas are fair game in the, sp in the spirit of synergy. I'll steal yours if you steal mine. You may distribute this wad, provided you include this file with no modifications. You may distribute this file in any electronic format, BBS, diskette, CD, etc., as long as you include this file intact. How about two free copies of the CDs, huh? Huh? Sorry, I had to read that because I noticed it was a little different. And uh, it is, in fact, different. So let's go ahead and get started. And holy crap, Wadenator picked uh, something that's maybe a little too intense for this. I think it's just. I actually think Wadenator is just being spiteful. Holy crap. Alright. So, a little bright out here, but it's okay. We're outdoors. That uh, poor spider was just. not having a good time, that's for sure. Alright, so we don't really have that big of a body count. It's not a huge number of secrets. I'm going to save that, just in case. Now, let's go ahead and... I don't think I want to use this, just... I think that's one of those subtly marked secrets. Or not. Oh. Hmm. It's not like... I'm probably overthinking this now. That's what I do. Yeah, maybe something else opens it. I don't know. Let's go in. Hey, <laughs> gotcha. Alright, good use of barrels. I mean that for both the map and me. Ooh, that was a, da a very nasty damage roll. Dick. Alright, well we have this now. That should be a bit nicer. Oh, so that's outside. Hmm. Yeah, barrels, barrels. I like it. I like it. This does look nice. Gee, can you tell this was a uh, production by... Or production... A production... Wow. <laughs> can you tell this is a production by... Uh, at least one person who would eventually be in Team TNT? Was Ty Holderman one of the founders of Team TNT? I don't remember. It was one of those things where I was a l Oh, hello. I was a bit too young to really know the exact details of the organization, if you will, but um, one of those things where I... It was more about knowing of its existence. So you don't want to go in here yet, or... Wait a minute, what? Hey, you said those wouldn't be marked. Hmm... Now I feel cheated. Well, you know. Wait a minute, what? So it's not marked. Or, I mean, it's not a secret. Huh. 
No, let's just go ahead and, yeah. Save a few shells, why not? Probably don't need to. It's interesting use of this floor texture, which it actually works. Guess I, my brain is just so wired to, oh, hello, Megasphere. My brain is just so wired to thinking of this texture as being the lift texture. It can really be used as a general floor. Just I think it's one of those muscle, like, brain muscle memory things. I don't know. It just feels weird. How about that? What's that do? Oh, opens more things. Okay. Okay. Oh, more ammo. I'm not sure if that's what's wrong. <laughs> this music, man, this is just... <laughs> Speed metal! <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> okay, anyway. Again, my theory is that the Wadnator is becoming increasingly sentient. And it was like, oh. So it's, you're supposed to use your brains and... Your brains are not brawn? Well, we'll show you. Oop. I don't know how I dodged that. I wasn't really moving to dodge it, it just kind of happened. Like, I released one key slightly before the other, and um, it kind of worked out in my favor. It's just that one wall was different. It was just. I know it fits in with this, but still. Don't make fun of me. Ow. Dick. Dicks. More dicks. It's enough dicks to open a sporting goods store. Store. Sorry, I'll see myself out. Literally, I want to see what that door leads to. So, um... That's still... Uh, whatever. Let's go. Over here. Hey, backpack. Thank you. Man, I'm... I'm digging this so far. It's not... I wouldn't say it's like a 10 out of 10, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. Very well constructed. I don't know. Bloodied walls. That's got the torch thing going on there too. Okay, that just opens that up, I'm assuming. Jeez. Overall, generally pretty good aesthetics. It's nice and varied without being like, uh, well, you know how D zone can, or D zone can get. I don't know why I'm just, I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm like this. Uh, hmm. So the walls get, okay. All right. That's a pain elemental. Oh boy. All right. Well, that could have been worse. Ow. Let's just go ahead and do this. It's actually... Of course, then again, I keep forgetting when these wads were made. You know, it's like... D-Zone 2... I mean, this is from D-Zone 2, so it was probably... 95? I would say? Yeah, because that would have been when... Yeah, Do 2 was the editor of choice. I think, uh... ADE 2 eventually became that. So this would have been probably an early Doom 2 map. Yeah, so... Oh, okay, that's just the way out. Got it. So, yeah, this would have been... Oh, yeah, the rocket launcher. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho. Yeah, this would have been... Probably a very early Doom 2 map. Yeah, so... Good stuff. Figure Doom mapping would not have been around for very long by the time this came out. That is actually the exit, so we're we're not done yet. We've got 12 kills, two secrets, and a um, small handful of items. So we had this thing back. I guess that's just nothing. Okay. So we also had yeah, and that's also a big load of nothing right there, because that's around where that one random torch wall would have been. So now it's just this. 
I will say this is not as puzzling as I would have expected, but at the same time, I mean... And more than... Oh. How did I open this? Okay. It more than makes up for it by... Having some pretty... Modern design sensibilities. I like it. Not modern levels of difficulty. That's, uh... It's not super tricky. Fun, though. And that's, that's really what counts. Right, so we got a blue armor up there. That's the uh, sector that's actually marked as a secret. We've got a red door there. Can we get behind? Yeah, we can. I don't recall seeing a red key. Search the blood real quick. Hmm. Is there any part of this that's a little bit lower? It does not seem that way. Yeah, it's all just one level. So, what about the walls? Do any of these textures look different? Maybe it's the waterfall? Or, sorry, bloodfall? Hello! Uh. Oh, one of these things. Oh, boy. Alright, well, it's not the worst use of that type of elevator that I've seen. <laughs> Whoa! Someone forgot the side textures. Or the lower, lower textures. Alright, well there we go. That was Arcus. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. <laughs> oh man, you know, I don't know. I mentioned that I didn't know about giving that a 10, but that was just a very well-crafted level. I mean, it wasn't... It didn't try to be excessively huge. It looked nice. It played very well. It was a bit generous on munitions, but I mean that's that's fine. Oh man, I'm having a I'm having a struggle. You know what? I'm gonna give this one a ten. That was fantastic. I mean, it was kind of in line with what I would expect for from um you know a Ty Halderman production basically. You can kind of see like just where some parts of just TNT ended up coming from. But, yeah, overall, I very much enjoyed that. Well, you know, I was uh, challenged to try it on Nightmare, so, um... Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I don't know. Basically no practice, but, you know. Ooh, hit me with a pellet. Max damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. I mean, the level is reasonably generous. I really want that dude's chain gun. Okay, thank you. And this. That's going to be very nice. Especially with double ammo. Someone already respawned. It's fine. I'm ready. My plasma gun's ready. Somehow I managed to completely avoid hitting any of the barrels. Oh, boy. Alright, we're going to... Oh, you fucker. I think the... Yeah, screw it. Secrets and items. We're going for it. We're going for it, baby. I don't know how well this is going to work, what with all these uh, respawning mofos, but... Alright, we got in here. What was in here? Backpack. Right. Well, we basically have infinite ammo, so uh, that's kind of nice. Let's use the chain gun for now until we get to the stairway ambush. Then we're definitely going to want to switch back to the plasma. Unf oh, ran right into that one. No, I didn't really want this, but sure, give me the health. <laughs> Is there anything over blue skull key? I do need that. Alright, so, no, go away. No, stop it. Oh, I guess this is the staircase ambush. No, that was just them spawning. Is it? What's going on? Help. <laughs> no, that is the stairway. The staircase ambush. Yeah, that's right, because it was all imps. Oops, all imps. Oh, right here. This is going to be interesting, because there's those chain gunners, but... Do they... 
Ow. Thanks. <laughs> really do not want this. Good thing I know how to do weapon switch buffering. It's really easy to do. Oh boy. Okay. Dude, this is a good time to use this. Just for the rot. Oh, oh. Oh, baby. Alright, don't panic. Everything's gonna be fine. I really need that Megasphere. I'm pretty sure that Imp Fireball went through the wall, too. Uh, I shouldn't have hit that. I really should not have hit that. I really should not have hit that. I should not have hit that. Oh, boy. Uh, 23 Plasma. Alright, it got me to here. That's good. Oh, man. And this is where I run like hell. Because, man, oh, man. Things are not going my way, baby. Alright, we need something a little bit speedier. God, this is such... Ah! Alright, this is why you practice nightmare runs, kids. Because I'm still not entirely sure what's going to jump out at me from every corridor. I mean, a normal completion would be... fine. But, uh... That's not how we roll, is it? Nope, don't wanna... Ah! Ow. My face. Let's see, I wanna do this first. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need this right now. Yeah, just stay there. Get stun locked. Okay, cool. Oh, man. I really wish I had more bullets. Okay, over here. And this gives me... What, again? Just the yellow key so I can get out of here, right? And I never picked this up. Perfect. I have plenty of shotguns, at least. So there's that, I suppose. No, go away. Oh, stop it! I mean, I could live if I just... How am I supposed to get down there? Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't that steep. Oh, baby. Alright, so I'm not really sure... I have legitimately no idea how I open this, so that's gonna be a problem. Is it one of these things over here? And I just didn't notice? I, I don't know, unfortunately. Is it maybe going up to the exit door? Cool, thanks. <sighs> wow, stop it. All right, let's hit this. Wait, was it the five minute? It's a five minute door. I don't see that every day. Alright, give me the health that's in here. Paltry sums, but it's better than nothing. I want the things that are up here. I really desperately need them. Please let me up here, please. Come on! Okay, fuck this. Let's go. Oh, man. Done. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a twofer. <laughs> so, um, doable on nightmare. It's, it's not. It's not too bad. <laughs> a little stressful at parts, but uh, that's that's fine. <sighs> yeah, this is how I just satisfy my random nightmare itches. I just sort of do stupid stuff like this. <laughs> oh well, that was fun though. I mean, you. <laughs> it's funny because it kind of takes that fairly subtle map design and just kind of turns it completely on its head. I mean, Nightmare just tends to do that in general, but um, yeah, I, I really like this map. So, two thumbs up. Rest in peace, Ty. You are missed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.